In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this grunge through the Metro effect in After Effects. So most of you guys probably know the Fruitiger Metro style and aesthetic at this point. I've made a, a lot of tutorials on it, but uh, it you know looks super super good. I wanted to make a you know grunge twist to the whole aesthetic, basically bring out a whole new unique look to it, which I thought turned out really really good. So I'm excited to show you guys how to create it. Now let's start with the tutorial here. So here I'm in After Effects and I've imported some footage. I'm going to be showcasing this effect on here. So the first thing we're going to be doing is basically roto brush out our artist or person in our footage here. So if you guys don't know how to roto brush, it's going to be a tutorial down in the description. And after you have roto brush, you will be getting this kind of look here. So when you got this, you're going to be duplicating the clip here. So press Control D. Do this on all of the clips like this here, and then we delete the bottom clip here. So Delete, 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 delete. Delete the rotor brush effect on the bottom clips. Now to get the iconic Fruitiger Metro textures and symbols, I'm going to be using my Fruitiger Metro effects pack, which is a part of my all-in-one bundle. And it includes over 150 pre-animated Fruitiger Metro textures, which is actually insane. You won't run out of Fruitiger Metro textures, that's for sure at least. And it also includes over 20 Y2K quality presets, which looks absolutely amazing. So to check it out, it's going to be a link down below now these are the textures here so to make the whole look here i'm going to be starting off by actually using a pre-made background here because it's uh, actually pre-made backgrounds included in packs so you can just drag and drop here and you already get a fully done fruity metro background so you can just put it here and boom already have a full uh, fruity metro look here on the clip here we could be adding threshold to get this kind of white look here looks pretty pretty cool and then we can add noise to this as well then drag up the noise above threshold, increase noise slightly to something like this here. Now we get a really, really nice Fruitiger Metro look with literally like a single drag and drop. Like <laughs> you just drag in the background and it's already, you know, done. And if you guys want to have like the kind of, you know, 3D look to the Fruitiger Metro here, we can just simply add a small little extra texture here. So go to speakers, get like speaker 2. And here you just drag and drop in a speaker like that rotate and then just add one in front of her something like that so now we get this kind of 3d uh, look to it and we're going to be adding a low quality effect in the end so you don't need to be you know focusing on the small details here but yeah simply just that and it's already done the first clip there so you can delete the rest of the uh, textures like that and then for the second clip here we can be adding some more textures here so go up here we can go to extra here we have some cool boom speaker we have one can drag that one in and then drag it behind her and then we can go to scale then we can move around the speaker a little bit we could put it up here in the corner stuff like that and then rotate it a little bit and then go into textures here again we could be adding a sound waves. So the whole speaker is sending out these sound waves. You can increase the size of them. So something like that. And then you can drag it behind her as well. So we get this kind of look here. And then you can press toggle switches and modes. And here you can be changing the blending mode here. So you can go with lighten, screen, something like that. It's going to be making this kind of look here, which looks pretty cool. And then we can cut the textures. So it just covers the clip. Cut it like that. And after that, we can open up the butterflies uh, folder here. So just so open it up here. And here we could be adding in some butterflies to our uh, clip here. So just drag in butterfly 2. And we get this uh, butterfly animation here. So we can start something like that. Cut it. Then cut it again. Then we can have this in front of her. So we get this little butterfly there. Very small touch, but all of these uh, small little details together is going to be creating this whole Fruitiga Metro look, basically. And after that, we could be adding some color splashes as well. We can add in a pink one, like that. Get a little color splash there as well. Then we can cut it. And then let's add another speaker to this. So, let's say speaker 4, drag and drop. We could use a green one. Then just adjust the size and position here. We can set it down here. And as you guys know, these are all pre-animated, so they're going to be moving like that. Looks super nice. And drag it above. So now we have this clip here, and then this clip here. And then we can go to the uh, next clip after that. The third clip, and here... 
we can actually use a pre-made background again because this is like the most like fastest and easiest way to get the Frigometro look here. So we could use the classic 2, which is a green background here. So just drag and drop in, just like that. Then cut it to the length of your clip. Boom. And then we can drag it behind the rotor layer here, just like that. Looks super, super nice. We can add a heart here as well. So add a white heart, adjust the scale. And then we drag it down here in the corner, rotate it. Make it a little bit smaller, just like that. To just get that small 3D touch to it. Looks very nice. And then for the last clip here, we could be adding, let's see, go to extra. We could add a palm tree here. This is also a really, really classic 3D Metro, uh, you know, texture to add here. We could increase the scale a little bit, to something like that. Let it play through. Then drag it behind her. And here we can drag down the opacity of the palm trees do something like that to get a small palm tree in the background and then we could add some half tone to this as well so we can use the half tone 5 texture just drag and drop here we get this half tone texture to it it's very clean change the blending mode to darker color so it's going to be showing the dark dots here basically looks nice now we could be adding some notes to this adjust the scale and rotation set it to the side here it's a little bit smaller can add a speaker as well to this black one speaker five and then here we can drag it to the corner like that and then drag the black speaker behind the rotor brush as well so you can see the hair is in front of the speaker there looks nice and get this 3d feeling to it we could add a second speaker as well so add speaker four blue i'm gonna add that one just rotation and everything and adjust the other textures if you have to something like that and let's add a color splash as well. Color splash for the blue one, drag and drop. We can add it down here in the corner and set it behind her as well, just like that. It's gonna be moving. So now we literally got four completely different Frutiger Metro looks in just minutes. Like that's actually insane. <laughs> like just minutes you got the, all of these different Frutiger Metro variation, which is actually crazy. And now to get the grunge part of this, I'm gonna be using some grunge effects from my grunge presets pack that's a part of my all-in-one bundle and before adding the presets we're going to be pre-composing our clips here name them rutiger metro clips then make an adjustment layer control y and here open up grunge presets where we have three different folders medium light heavy and here we could use the lost tape preset just drag and drop to the adjustment layer so now when you apply this effect here you guys will be getting this kind of look to your frutiger metro effects here which looks absolutely insane like it looks so so good this is one of the coolest frutiger metro combos i've ever made here like this is so so wow like <laughs> i can't even describe how good i think this looks now that's just one of the presets included in the grunge presets pack so we can try another one let's add on the super grunge effects here drag and drop so this is how the super effect is going to look on the frigo metro effect here looks super super good <laughs> yeah li i mean yeah literally super good so uh <laughs> i really like how the like sharp and look the grunge pixels have here almost makes the fruity metro texture look 3d in a sense i mean it's truly truly amazing here and i can show you guys one more preset here so make adjustment layer and here we could use the uh, camcorder here preset just drag and drop and with the camcorder preset you guys will be getting this cool camcorder look here to your uh, fruity metro effect looks super super cool and unique so if you guys also like these amazing <laughs> Frutiger Metro looks here looked absolutely incredible. Check out the Frutiger Metro FX pack and the Grunge Presets pack and both of those packs are included in the all-in-one bundle where you literally get all of my editing packs on my whole website and also a newly added course where I'm showing you guys how to use the editing packs as well. So the link to the packs is going to be down below and also the link to the all-in-one bundle is going to be down below as well so you guys can go and check them out. Other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Take care and have a nice day.